Are you suspicious that your Windows 11 has a virus? In this video, you will see how to remove viruses from Windows 11 PC. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Use Windows Security to scan your PC. Your first step should be scanning your Windows 11 PC with the inbuilt antivirus. To do that, open Settings. Go to Privacy and Security. Click on Windows Security. Now go to Virus and Threat Protection. Here you can click on Quick Scan to scan the hotspot areas of your PC. However, we want to scan the PC thoroughly, so click on Scan Options, select Full Scan, click on Scan Now. It will take a while to scan your PC since Windows Security will check the whole PC. It might take longer if your PC has large data. Once the scan is completed, remove the detected threats. Some threats, such as rootkits, hide in your system as they are part of the operating system. It is not possible to detect them while the system is running, so we will try another approach to catch them. For that, we will have to use the Microsoft Defender offline scan. Select it and click on Scan Now. It will show you a warning that Windows 11 will restart and take some time to scan your PC, so save all of your work and click on Scan to confirm. Now your PC will restart and the Microsoft Defender will start the scan. Wait until it is finished. Boot in Safe Mode Now you should boot your Windows 11 PC in Safe Mode. In Safe Mode, only essential services and processes run, so you can easily clean your PC. Press Windows plus the R button, type MS Config, and press Enter. Under the Boot tab, check the box of Safe Boot. Now apply and restart your PC. You can now perform the next steps to clean the malware. Clear the startup. Go to the Startup tab. Here, find any unknown and suspicious apps. Select them and click on Disable. This way, the malware won't automatically start the next time you restart your PC. Delete temporary files. Most malware hides in the temporary files. They load as temporary files and then start infecting your system, so your first step should be deleting the temporary files. To do that, click on the Start menu and type Disk Cleanup. Click on it to open. Click OK. Now deselect everything and select Temporary Internet Files and Temporary Files. Click OK. Then confirm your action by clicking on Delete Files. Reset Browser Settings Malware hijacks the settings of your browser and redirects you to malicious sites so that they can infect your system with malware again. You should reset the browser settings to avoid that. If you are using Microsoft Edge, open the menu, then go to Settings. Click on Reset Settings from the left sidebar. Now click on Restore Settings to their default values. Then confirm your action by clicking on the Reset button. Now open the system configuration again. Disable the Save Boot, then restart your system. Remove System Restore Points System Restore Points are used to restore the system to a working state. If any problem happens with the computer, the user tries to restore it to a restore point. Malware creators are aware of this, so they create the malware to infect the System Restore Points also. It is better to remove the System Restore Points. Click on the Start menu and type Create a Restore Point. Open it, then click on Configure. Click on Disable System Protection. Then click on the Delete button to delete all the system restore points. Click on Continue to confirm. Take help of anti-malware. After following all these steps, you should take the help of anti-malware to make sure there are no traces of the malware. 
we suggest using Malwarefox anti-malware. It is a light anti-malware that can catch any malware, including rootkits, spyware, ransomware, trojans, adware, and browser hijackers. Download it from the link in the description. Then install it. Now click on Scan. It will take a while to finish the scan. Meanwhile, you can continue your work as it won't slow down your PC. Once the scan is finished, click on Next to clean the detected threats. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 Tips and Tricks.